yourself. Amen. Love the Lord. Amen. Show her faithfulness. Amen. To the church. Uh, from day one, Sister David, Brother David joined the church. They, they come in running. And uh, showing how much they love the Lord and how seen her growth in the Lord. I've seen her get strong in the Lord. And she has set such a good example. Amen. Of a good Christian. Christian love. Amen. And we're thankful that the Lord laid on our heart to, to ask her about being a mother of the church. Amen. I'm going to ask that uh, she would come down at this time. Being a church mother is more than just uh, sitting on the side with a white dress on. Uh, you don't just look holy. You are holy. You're holy because of the righteousness of God. A church mother set an example for younger women in numbers of ways. For example, dressing in a certain way to demonstrate the appropriate, amen, conservative Christian attire. That's in 1 Timothy 2 and 9. A church mother also refrained from gossip and idleness, amen, but she must aspire to the Christ-like character and action in all circumstances. A church mother is expected to raise her children to be godly and to act in integrity. Church mother is expected to amen, raise her children to be godly children. Church mother is expected to uh, amen, she should uh, belong to a mother ministry in the church that focus on the community outreach, such as visits the nursing home, uh, by people who are too sick to come to church, often, often, and women's shelter to spread the message of Christ and to lead a caring hand, a lend a caring hand uh, to the disadvantaged. A church mother is expected to pay tithes and earn 10% of one income, and then she is to encourage others to do so. Uh, their mission is, according to Titus 2, verses 3 to 5, older mothers likewise are to reverend to their behavior and not malicious gospel, nor enslaved to such wine teaching what is good so that they may encourage the younger women to love their own husband, to love their own children, to be sensible, pure, workers at home, kind, being subject to their own husband so that the word of God would not be dishonored. Their purpose is to promote the cause of Christ and to teach younger women of the church according to Titus 2, 3 through 5. Their duties are to pass on the word of wisdom to the younger people, be advisor to our sons and our daughters, and assist with the preparation of the candidates for baptism and to visit the sick and shut in. The women who are chosen, they are chosen by the pastor and the congregation as an example of holy living in the family as well as in the church. One who exhibit deep understanding of their faith and ability to communicate their knowledge and to reverence and respect for their wisdom. At this time, I'm going to ask that we have any other mothers in the church. From any 
out of the church and there'll be another mother's here. If not, if not, as we get ready to come down, I ask the deacons, I ask the mother of the church to come down. And as we get ready to pray for Sister Christine David as the mother of the church.